Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman from paperclipping.com and we're in the Zetter booth and I'm with Stacy Nicholas. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> and she's got this new product that she's designed with Zetter and it's called the Bow It All. Okay. So Stacy's going to show us how this works and give us a little demo here. Okay. This is our Bow It All. And basically it's a wonderful tool that's going to make a perfect bow every single time. These are called our helping hand pegs. What these are is they lock in place right on the board. So you're going to take and you screw them in, take your little tool, you're going to take and you lock it down, take this one over here, lock it in here. Now what I'm, what I'm putting in is called our helping hand pegs. What this is, is this is where you can put your back ribbon that you're going to tie around your project. You're going to get that all in one now. You don't have to put it in after your bow's been made. This is the first tool that will make a double bow. You're going to put your pegs in the back and in the front. Okay, you take and just lock them down, lock them down. Okay, all right, take your ribbon, put your ribbon on your ribbon spool. Okay, then you're going to cut this piece of ribbon whatever size you need for your project. If you need 30 feet, cut it 30 feet. It doesn't matter. Okay. Then you're going to take and you're going to take your what we call our helping hand clips and you're just going to clip it right there on the clip. It doesn't have to be straight, it doesn't have to be tight, it just needs to be back there. Okay, now we've got it. Now you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to take your ribbon flat against those back two pegs and then you're going to take it and you're going to wrap a figure eight. So you're going to come through the middle around the back side of that back peg. For a double bow you're going to use the front two pegs. So you're going to do the same thing, just do that figure eight. Okay, you're going to do that as many loops as you want. If you want 25 loops on this bow, you can do 25 loops. Just keep going. Figure eight, go to your front two, figure eight, go to the back two, figure eight. <laughs> keep saying figure eight. <laughs> and then the front one. You always want to end in your left front peg. The reason for that is you know you're going to have even loops on both sides of your bow. Let go of that left one. Bring it to the back. Take this one up over the top and to the back. Now I like to fold my center knot. You don't have to, you can just have that nice gathered center knot if you want. I fold mine. Then you take and you take your back, uh, the one on the left on the bottom and the right. You're gonna do a twist. Bring that bottom one up, that back one down. Take it over the front, let me show you. And you're always looking at the front of your bow so you can see what your bow is gonna look like when your bow is done. Okay, then you take it under and back to the back. So you're gonna go back to the back, and then you take and you bring them in even. Now I like to take my bottom one and just gather up a little bit on that bow. You don't have to, but I like to, because it will gather itself. Now you always wanna have that cut ribbon in your right hand, and you want the, help, the working ribbon in your left. You just make a big loop, just like you're tying your tennis shoes, and then you're gonna come up, and you're gonna go through the, through the loop, and bring it. Now the reason you do it like that, let me do it again, is because it's called our locking C technique. And what that does is, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a C right here. If you can see that C, you know you're on the right track to get that knot tight. Now if you have customers, or if you have arthritis, you just pull a little, just keep pulling at the center. Adjust your center on your front of your bow to get it how you want it to look. If you want it a little scrunchy, scrunch it up. Then just take those back two ribbons and let me turn it around. Whoops, pull that one off. Let me clip. Now yeah, you don't need those anymore. <laughs> okay, pull that one off too. Okay, then you're going to take and you're going to just keep tightening until you cannot tighten that bow anymore. Once you've got it as tight as you want it, you're going to take those two tails, bring them up, you're going to clip them, then you've got your tails clipped. Take off those helping hand clips. Take that back ribbon and just kind of give it a little tug so you know you're going to be able to move that bow on your project wherever you want it. Take it off. Adjust it a little bit. And then you've got a perfect bow for your project. Wow. It is not going to come untied. You cannot untie this. You can pull it as tight as you want. It's not going to untie. And there you have a perfect bow to put on your project. So here's a separate bow. Is this tied in a different manner? This is one without the back ribbon. This is just a double loop, double bow that's tied doing it just twice. 
on both pegs using the double bow, and then just glued on with a glue dot. Oh. So you just glue it on with a glue dot, real simple. It will make as small as this. Oh this my goodness, our little look at half how inch. tiny. You can't untie that bow, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> so you have a little half inch all the way up to a nine inch. And so you can make different styles of bows or uh -huh. just different sizes? It does all different styles like we have over there. You can do a single, if you just want a single basic bow. You can do a double bow. You can do multi-loop, which we have down here is a multi-loop bow. You can do what we call our bow tie bow. That one has no tails. It just is a single loop, looks like a bow tie. Does ah. all these, plus we're going to come out with more bows as I work with the tool. So if somebody gets the tool, are there, is there instructions step like a book? Step-by-step colored instructions are going to come with it. We're going to have YouTube videos online with step-by-step -step for each step. We're going to do each bow so they can see how to do each bow. And, uh, and right. if they have questions, they can email us, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions okay. that they have. So what is this called again? The it's called the Bow It All, and it's manufactured by Zetter Innovative. And I designed it. Stacy Nicholas. <laughs> Stacy right? Nicholas, that's okay. right. I'm excited. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> well, thank you, Nicole. Noel. Oh, Noel, <laughs> I'm sorry. Everybody calls me Nicole. <laughs> it's fine. I'm Noel Hyman with paperclipping.com.